Uh, satire and political comedy. Popular genres for many of the world's top comedians as they sort of have a go at politicians. But can you imagine a politician having a go at comedy? West Midlands MEP Nikki Sinclair is going to perform a show at this year's Edinburgh Festival. It's uh, her one-off show, The EU, It's Not Funny. A lot of people might agree. At the Fringe Festival, which is uh, Wednesday the 21st, the show is being billed as being a light-hearted, satirical and poignant look at the European Union, its characters, the laws and its everyday effect on the lives of ordinary people. Uh, let's go and talk to MEP Nikki Sinclair. Good morning. Good morning. So what inspired you, Nikki, to do this then? Um, I think I've obviously been four years as an MEP and, and giving speeches and um, t- telling stories of the European Union uh, and, you know, people not getting enough of that type of thing. Um, so I, I just thought, I've always been a fan of the Edinburgh Festival and I thought, wow, here's an opportunity to, you know, um, most, most comedy is observational. The comedy that I like is observational humour and I just thought, well, here's a chance for me to perform it. Are you nervous? Yes, um, I'm very nervous before any speech, but um, this is obviously out of my comfort zone, but it'll be, a, it'll be an experience, I'm looking forward to it. Who have you drawn on for uh, comedic inspiration? <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I grew up with the, the, you know, the great comedian who, on, on television. Well, um, who, who are the great comedians for you? Um, probably the, 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 because of my age of the early eighties, you know, the alternative comedians like the, the, the Stephen, the Stephen Fry's, the the Rick Mails, and so forth. So it's a bit kind of slightly alternative slapstick, um, but with a message uh, as well. So it, that that's probably what I will attempt to do. Probably very poorly, um, but I'll certainly give it a try. So have you? Um tested the material on any audiences so far because a lot of comedians before they do the big arena tours and i'm not Uh suggesting that you'll head to the big arenas you might do after edinburgh who knows but uh, they will go to the small clubs to uh work their material in front of an audience have you done that yet yeah well i've 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 tested on my staff and i'm awaiting the (laughs) the claims from the employment tribunal (laughs) (laughs) so can you give us a can you give us a flavor for any of any of the act How, how long are you doing by the way it's probably going to be about half an hour. Um, it's obviously going to be try and test it out. I suppose I'm not going terribly well. I may cut it short, but I think I, I can probably do about half an hour um, of it. There's, there's, there's a fair amount of material. My favourite thing, as I say, most of it's observational, and it was a speech that a colleague gave in the um, European Parliament, and he was a French MEP, and he was from Normandy. And he's extolling the virtues of Normandy about, you know, in Normandy they have the great Canembert cheese, they have the great Calvados wine. In Normandy they have the great Norman forest. And in the, and in the Norman universities they have the great Norman wisdom. And the whole rest of the chamber fell about laughing, and he didn't understand what they were laughing about. So it's that mix of 28 countries and the humour that comes from that. Well, let's be honest, the, the EU, I mean, and, and you're an MEP, it is a rich source of material. I, I don't, think there, are, don't think there are too many people in this country that uh, will laugh at some of the laws that come out of the EU. But um, the best joke, give us, give, us a, give us a quick sample of what you're going to perform at Edinburgh. Um, I, think, I think that the, the, the jokes will be as those ob- observational humour um, about, for example, wine gums. That the, the someone said about, well, we need to test how much wine there is in a wine gum. <laughs> that's, how, that's how crazy it gets. <laughs> it's how crazy it gets. And, you know, it's not about Ben, but it's, obs- it's observational about the people that are there. I mean, it's h- hilarious. We've obviously got people like Nigel Farage, Ron Rompuy, you know, the, the, the things between them uh, and that type of thing. You know, it's, it, it's really, sometimes I'm sitting there and I don't know whether to laugh or cry there. Because it's a big, and the sadness about the European Union, your listeners will know I'm very Eurosceptic. Um, you know, I want a referendum. But the sadness is, is how much money is spent and how much of our effort is put into the European Union. And, and it really is, sometimes I just really don't know whether to laugh or cry at it, which is why I want a referendum and probably even get us out of it. Nikki Sinclair, West Midlands MEP, who is for one night only, and I don't know whether it's sold out yet. You you might want to go. You might want to be there in the <laughs> audience uh, for Nikki's show at the Edinburgh it's a free Festival, show. which is the tw- it's free, is it? It's free. <laughs> the twenty first of this month. Uh, Nikki, thanks for, thanks for joining us on the show. Good luck with it. Thank you. She'll be there live on the twenty first. Love Hereford. 